The Moon, as a constant companion of our blue home planet, the natural satellite appears both fascinating and mysterious. Above all, one region of the celestial body keeps moving into the center of adventurous myths and legends, the dark side of the Moon. Since the satellite has a fixed rotation, it always presents one and the same side to the Earth. As a result, it's not possible for us from our terrestrial vantage point to get a glimpse of the Moon's mysterious far side. The area of the satellite that faces away from Earth is often referred to as the dark side of the Moon. However, this name is misleading. In fact, this region also goes through the different phases of the Moon, just in opposite order. When the Moon presents itself as a narrow crescent in the sky, its backside is bathed in glaring light. Since the far side of the satellite is hidden from our prying eyes, some people suspect that unbelievable events could be taking place there. But what leads some people to believe that the far side of the Moon is inhabited by aliens? What alleged evidence is presented? Let's take a look at this exciting topic together. Before we get into it, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with our future videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn one of the most unexplainable secrets of the Moon that we've uncovered so far. Mysterious Lights whether we believe in aliens on the Moon or not, there's no question that mysterious phenomena are happening on the satellite that experts just can't explain. In detail, these are mysterious Moon flashes and other luminous phenomena that are regularly registered. In other cases, it's again observed how some places on the lunar surface darken as if by magic. Those explanations that don't deal with the influence of extraterrestrials look for the reasons for these phenomena in meteorite impacts and the interaction with sunlight. Seismic activity could also be a possible cause. Far more exciting, however, are the theories circulating outside the official circles of experts. In fact, the lights, which sometimes last for several hours, can appear in different colors. The exciting light spectacle has been known for many decades. In 1969, German astronomers discovered a strange bluish glow in the Aristarchus crater. The researchers then contacted NASA, asking them to study the phenomenon as part of the Apollo 11 mission. Armstrong later stated that the spot actually glowed a brilliant shade of blue. In the meantime, the luminous phenomena have been observed dozens of times in the region. Could the phenomena actually be the work of an extraterrestrial civilization? Or is a natural origin more likely? What do you think? Please let us know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Mysterious Towers the basic rule is, if there really is an extraterrestrial civilization on the Moon, then it must have left its mark there. According to diehard alien enthusiasts, such evidence does exist in the form of buildings and other man-made structures. According to this, we should be able to see gigantic towers on some pictures of the Moon's surface, which sometimes rise several kilometers into the air. The corresponding buildings could be admired by everyone in the Moon edition of Google Earth. But that's not all. Castles and houses are said to have already been tracked down on the satellite. These can be seen on old recordings that were once made by Russian space probes. Accordingly, the shadows cast and the striking light reflections are intended to indicate that these are by no means natural structures. There's a good reason why such lunar cities are only extremely rarely found on more recent images. The structures would be specifically removed by NASA. So so as not to cause panic on Earth. Further Evidence The already mentioned buildings and towers are not the only evidence of the extraterrestrial settlement of the Moon among the ranks of the convinced alien supporters. Massive fortresses and gigantic cannon-like weapons are also among the traces of civilization that we find on the lunar surface. Some metallic-looking structures also appear on this list. But where are the inhabitants of the Moon actually hiding? And what do they look like? 
A bizarre structure that's often interpreted as an oversized statue could provide an answer to this question. In its basic features, this ominous object resembles a human-like figure. In addition, it is conceivable that the mysterious moon dwellers are not only cavorting on the surface of the satellite. According to this, there's a recording that shows a large geometric construct adorned with a gaping hole. Is this the access to the interior of the moon? Allegedly, this building also fell victim to NASA manipulation. Anyone who examines the region on more recent images will no longer find anything in this regard. Spaceships Those who firmly believe that the Moon is home to extraterrestrial life take this line of thought a step further. It would not be a primitive culture, but an advanced species capable even of spaceflight. In fact, there are numerous recordings that want to show us the spaceships of the Moon dwellers. This includes a video that was made in 1971 as part of the Apollo 15 mission. In James Irwin's shaky image, we see a mysterious structure that appears to be floating a few meters above the lunar surface. In addition, there are images of cigar-shaped structures that look like gigantic airships. Based on the shadows cast, one could see that the structures would also fly above the ground. In view of the exciting discoveries that have already been recorded on the satellite, a central question arises. Why has no human been on the moon since 1972? Officially, this had political reasons as well as financial ones. The race for the moon was over. The United States had successfully beaten the Soviet Union. When it comes to the convinced alien supporters, the reason for the lack of moon flights is much more profound. Accordingly, NASA astronauts encountered frightening things during their moon landings that made another man visit to the celestial body seem too dangerous. Let's take a look at the book by former NASA employee Maurice Chatelaine. In Our Cosmic Ancestors, Chatelaine describes that during the first moon landing, several alien spacecraft were sighted observing Neil Armstrong on his first moonwalk. Allegedly, this was also the case with all subsequent moon missions. NASA would have sworn everyone involved to absolute silence. For this reason, it's believed that many astronauts have had frightening experiences that they're only too happy to share. However, they're reluctant to go public with their reports for fear of the consequences. The Hollow Moon July 24, 1969 was to be immortalized in the history books for all time. That was when the two U.S. astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin managed to set foot on the lunar surface for the first time. But did you know that just a few months later, on November 19, 1969 to be precise, the second successful moon landing was completed. While the astronauts on the Apollo 11 mission still had a glimpse of the satellite surface, the astronauts that followed were destined to ask a literally deeper question. What is hidden inside the moon? For this reason, the Apollo 12 astronauts placed some seismometers on the lunar surface. The aim was to find out whether the moon is shaken by natural earthquakes similar to those on our Earth. Based on the corresponding data, important conclusions can be drawn about the inner composition of the moon. However, because the timing of tremors cannot always be predicted and the astronauts' time was understandably limited, they conducted an unusual experiment. They slammed an object onto the lunar surface to study the effects. In detail, it was part of the lunar module that was no longer needed. The seismic data created by the impact was then transmitted back to Earth. However, these differed drastically from all the forecasts that the experts had made in advance. So it seemed as if the signal inside the moon was literally oscillating back and forth, similar to the ringing of a bell. Even more mysterious, the seismic signal lasted for a whole hour, but no one could explain why this was the case. Since the oscillation differed drastically from comparable events on Earth, it was immediately assumed that the interior of the moon must also have a completely different structure. Some experts led the results of the experiment to a revolutionary theory. In fact, the interior of the moon is hollow. 
To be clear, if the interior of the moon was solid, the signals would have had to behave completely differently. The ominous ringing of bells could only have been created if huge cavities existed below the surface. To this day, some researchers believe the Apollo 12 experiment did indeed give us evidence of a hollow moon. In order to verify the inexplicable results, the Apollo 17 mission should again devote itself to examining the interior of the moon. One of the overarching goals of the moon landing was an experiment called the Chapel Bell. The puzzling thing, the results of this follow-up experiment are still top secret. Therefore, to this day, we don't know what experiments the astronauts carried out at that time and what unexpected findings they may have come across. Some Russian scientists took the hollow moon theory to a whole new level in the early 1970s. As a result, our satellite would by no means be a natural celestial body, but an oversized space station created by an unknown species. An advanced extraterrestrial civilization may still be hiding beneath the surface of the moon. What makes this discovery all the more disturbing is that not long after the final experiment was conducted, all further moon missions were cancelled. This could easily be explained by a difference in political opinion, with different United States leaders feeling as though the moon exploration was no longer financially feasible. It could also be explained away by saying that we've now gathered all the information we were hoping for. For. However, we must ask ourselves, is there a more sinister reason why no further moon missions have taken place? What did the astronauts uncover that day that led NASA to never want to return to Earth's natural satellite? While we'll likely find out within the next few decades, there's a large chance we may never truly know the nature of what was uncovered on that fateful day. If the moon is hollow, what's inside? If alien life is not to be found, then what secrets could the interior of the moon be hiding? The world may never know, but maybe that's for the best. All right, folks, now your opinion matters. What do you think of the supposed evidence of the existence of an extraterrestrial civilization on the moon? And what are your thoughts on the theory that the moon's interior is actually hollow? We're already looking forward to your comments. If you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date from now on. Finally, take a look at the other videos of our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the pictures in the credits. Thank you for watching. Have a good one and see you next time.